We're gonna go into bad territory. Watch what happens. Watch. What you doing, guy? So, Tomb Sarn is what he does. He's going. Come on, Sarn Short. You not? I'm gonna kick your little ass, man. Come on, you can do better than that, Sarn. Get that on my face, I'll stick it there sideways. That's, that's what I want to hear. All right. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. Squad leader. It's the man in charge. So, Sarn. That's it? Nothing else? Nobody got nothing to say tonight. It was all worn out. Coming down for you. Howdy. What's that? We had to cover down for you because you were slacking. Slacking? I wasn't slacking. You slacking today. I wasn't slacking today. Did my fair share. Brown always got something to say. You know I'm pimping this dude. That guy guy. You know I'm pimping something like a pimp over here. Checking out, you know, I got one of my pimp bets right here with me. You <laughs> know that? my fine. And if you want to see her at her worst, look at her laying right oh. there. Good. Done. Oh, show me at oh, my best. No. Show oh, show me at you at your best. best. Hold on. You got Let me show you. Let me show you at her best. Hold on. Hold up. Give oh, me that one when your hair ain't dead. Oh, jeez, brown. Come on now. We gotta put that on the camera. Now. You gotta we gotta put that on the camera now. Hold up now. But you know, I'm still being the sexiest man on earth. That's her usual look right there. That's how she wears her clothes every day. Just nasty. We're not gonna show that to nobody else, though. You and her. We ain't gonna show that to nobody else. I wanna see him. Yeah, you can look at her. I'll be down in my area. Oh, okay. This is the female's cage. It's the mini cage. It's the mini cage. The beasts live up in there. This here. This is the cage. This is where the women live. We're not allowed. To, there I am, recording. What we got going on in here? Hold on. Come on, say hi. All right. All talk. First platoon salute. There we go. That's great. Going on down the hall. Sergeant Campbell sleeps up here. Sergeant Watts. Are you trying to tell me this? Cornell. Stanley. Yo, uh, Taylor. Here we go. Big Chief right here. What's going on? What's going on, baby? Take his eyes off the game. That's my bed right there. That's right. Beautiful. See, I put my cover down here so I can hide all my junk. That's my junk right there. That's Welch. That's my battle buddy. Damn. I can shit over. Sorry in LA. Nice. What's going on, man? You ain't got much to say, dude. Clean no ears out. You know what I'm saying? So I can hear what the fuck people's telling me. I know you got something to say. Serious oh, about right. that shit. So, <laughs> first platoon salute. I know you need help with me because you can't right. be eating all this shit. You want to lose weight. You can't be eating all this shit. We're sneaking up on the man. Turn the light on. This is the man. It's the man. It's the man. Oh, we got the finger on camera. This is first platoon salute. First platoon salute. It's the man. Oh, this is for the family. I like the way he says that. It's the man. It's the man. What you do? First platoon salute. What you doing, man? Why are you recording me? I'm recording everyone. I don't. So I can send it to my congressman. This is second platoon. This is uncharted territory. <laughs> Sup, guy. Sup, guy. Look, this is how second platoon operates. Dress right, dress. See the weapons. Dress right, dress. They even numbered. They have their names. Number. Their names. What? Fuck, dude. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. Hey, I gotta pick up my Is it your socks. wife that talks? No. It's yeah, not your... my wife talks to your mom. Your wife talks to my no. mom? Yeah. She only lives about four hours away. No shit! Yeah. We live in Port Lauderdale? Messy area. Ghetto. It's a messy area. Looks like a bunch of... Down. More wet You can hide hiding back there. Yeah, there, there he is. No, no. Just look for him or I. Get him! Get him! Get him. Drag him in! Drag him in! No! <laughs> you motherfucking dragon! I warned him even and he still came over here. We got him. No, fuck <laughs> you, dude. What's up, buddy? Hi. Y'all punches ain't shit. I suppose y'all are only laying off because I got a camera in my head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're not police force. <laughs> Jeffrey, you ain't... Oh, I'm never fucking baton. helping you. You're from my platoon. What? You're from my platoon. And you didn't do Mark shit. Him. So what's up, Warren Bogger? Uh, hey, well, I'm wait. I'm waiting for this. Uh, tomorrow karaoke. Tomorrow, you, me, some cake. Oh, tomorrow, I'm gonna go. I got guard duty. It's, it's okay. You're off at nine. I know. When you oh, look at him. He's falling. <laughs> You'll be off with plenty of time. You're off at 1900. All right. What time does it start? We're gonna do it at 1930. <laughs> so you come over here and drop gear, and we'll hightail it oh, out. Oh, that's here. plenty of fucking time. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> I like it. Well, I'm gonna get up. Sing it to yourself. <laughs> Sing it, yeah. Sing it to yourself. Hey, that's, that's a little rough too neck. close, buddy. That's rough neck right God, there. Let me show you the value. <laughs> hey, we should all sing the 12 Days of Christmas <laughs> Iraqi <laughs> style show on a video camera. Y'all got it? I gave you the clue. I wrote it. You got it ready? Seriously, I wrote it. Hook it up. Sing it from the 12 Days Down. Hook it up. Come on. Sing it. Yeah, I'll help you, dude. I'll help you. You want to sing it with us, Suzak? No. Hold on, dude. While y'all sing, I gotta put some scared, special dude. effects hey, on. I gotta this isn't gonna be real good. We're not I, that good. All right, hold on, dude. But I gotta put some special effects. Let me see it so I remember. Boop. That's not cool. Eight, I'm gonna write it better. It's kind Seven, of scribbled right now. I did it on mission. Oh, sheep herders. Six women. Will you sing the freaking song? Oh, hey. I had to practice the words. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> on the 12th day of Christmas. Who gave it to us? And Iraqis gave it to me. <laughs> the Iraqis gave it to me. Twelve oh, bags of hashish. Eleven sawdum pictures. Ten freaky <laughs> freaky <laughs> movies. Nine <laughs> bottles of whiskey. Eight donkeys, donkeys with, with too, too much, much weight, weight on their back. back. Seven, Seven sheep herders. Six women wrapped in black. Five, Five white knee sons. sons. Four AK 47s <laughs> pointed at us. Three, three landmines, two, two IEDs, and, and a fucking RPG. RPG. You don't want to hear the scudger. Like All right, here we go again. An encounter with an NCO. Well, these guys aren't as friendly in here. What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? Nothing. I'm exploring all the bays. I'm getting full coverage story on what's going on with soldiers in Iraq. Really? Yes. I'm eating some, some jalapeno cheese dipped cheddar. Are you aware that you have it on your nose? Did I get it? Yes. Thanks, man. Are you recording? Yes. So you got that on tape? You want one? You guys are playing video games. And some dip to get one? Pretty good. Uh -huh. This is no fun. I got my ass beat in the second platoon. This is all oh, this is what soldiers do at night. Hi. Hi. It's about one of those two, huh? Yeah. How much was it? Yeah, uh, it was uh, 229. Yeah, go get me one. Good shit, good shit. There he is. David. Hello. Hi. This is for my mom, so no cussing. Cussing. I ain't got much going on back here. There you are. There you are. That's me, baby. Drive it like you stole it. You know it. <laughs> I'm just checking y'all shit out, man. Showing what's going on in Iraq. Send this to Fox News. Yeah, send it to Fox News. This presentation is brought to you by Sunmade Raisins. Man's heart. Come here. Come here, dude. Come on, guy. Huh? Come on, guy. Don't make me waste this. Man's heart. Man's heart. There he goes. Come here, guy. What are we trying to advertise? There ain't no sex in the champagne room. You got blue balls? I got blue balls. Hi, Mom. Look, I'm on TV. Can you see my iris? Cool. <laughs> Too good to shower with battle buddies. You gotta go with the girl. I wash my nuts. So I'm in the shower with the females. I wash my nuts, too. Did you powder them? Do you want to smell them? No, I powder them. Come out here. Best Western. Best Western. Going to Any words on Westerman? What did you have to say? What are you doing, being enlisted? I said, I have yet to do anything with you. Because you've dissed me on several, several occasions. Several females. Hoes before bros. Come on now, it's not that way. Dude, I've been in here for 10 months. Like, what is what is wrong with that, man? I got your back, It's been a while, dude. Not really, because when I was hey, in the school... Hey, I with <laughs> Yes, he does. I mean, I mean, um, no. No, not at all. Never look. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did. Those are your balls. You said my balls. No, you said my I said balls. his balls. Who's that? <laughs> Looking at you. <laughs> Dude, don't even know. <laughs> oh, can't go far. I'm on a leash. Battery ran out. The cord right there. Sorry, I got it plugged in. Oh, tits. I'm about to borrow that and fucking charge up my razor sometime. Your razor? Yeah, my electric razor. For my public hairs. What are you eating? What are you eating? I am drinking. Eating, not drinking. It's not a trick question. Drinking this. Coke. Hey, free information. If you're wanting a bonus. Don't re-enlist. I'm good. Re enlist. Don't re-enlist. I'm good. Sorry. I'm just letting you know. Don't get out there. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him. If you burning shit, stir it. Where's your stirring stick? Show him. Show him how you stir it. Come on, guy. Show him how you stir it, guy. I always want to flip chain the bird, dude. What if I gotta show this to my family? Come on, man. Those are little kind of people you hang out with. What are you doing, Sarn? We are burning shit. What's the purpose of burning shit, Sarn? So we can have two clean toilets, even though we don't need them. As you can see, we got four potty porters over there. <laughs> potty porters. <laughs> potty porters. So we shit in these buckets? 
And then we burn the shit. That's right. Good morning, all right. Time about to start, sir. You can use that poker thing. Back to the shit. See, this is part two. You gotta stir the shit. You gotta stir the shit, break it up, and it burns better. See, there's some things you just don't know about in the civilian world. I'll show you how to properly... I'll stir the shit. Properly. Woo! You gotta get all up in there. Woo! See? That's right. You got that? Mm-hmm. You get away from the shit. And you never stand down when. Unless you wanna smell like shit. Oh <laughs> There's Stanley's. Happy man burning shit. I got a close end of burning the shit. Burning shit? There's nothing like burning shit what? early in the morning. Burning, what do you know? burning shit. You're smoking something too. Hey, I had some tins out here gag. So Here we are. These, these are shit houses. We built these. See the little can in the bottom? That right there? That's where you take a poop poo. This is the wonderful badlands of our rack. Yep. See? We built these lovely things. Going here, and you take a poo poo. But I'm going over here to the Hilton. This one's bigger, more room. I don't know, it's just more comfortable. That's right. Hey, what's up? We're going on mission today, buddy. We're gonna go on the road, check out Iraq. Yeah, not supposed to, but it's all dark. There you go, go. Oh, <laughs> that one's already in your throat, man. I know, it's <laughs> time. So it does work. Oh, it does work. Oh, it does work. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Oh, early in the morning, I get up, I get up. The essentials. Hey, right. Sitting pulling a tanker and a coffee. Gotta have it. Hey, why does the fucking shit look all weird, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't. Hey, do a radio check. Hey, hog element, can I get a radio check? I'm good. We're fixing to go on mission, buddy. Yes, we are. They put me and Walt in the same truck, but <laughs> it is. I got my camera. Not supposed to. It's like foggy this morning. Very foggy, dude. Uh, you get to talk loud because the truck's loud. Potential fuck ups on the side of the road. Foggy. I just want to show you how foggy it is. Beautiful. Check out the scenery. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. Dirty Iraqi motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. They're welted again. Alright. Alright. So let's take a play train. Uh -huh. That's it, dude. Fuck dip. Wait, hold on, I wanna see the wet. Huh? Wanna let it go? Yeah, let it go. No, I hit the dirt, yeah. Don't let them see the shots of the dirt. Commentary from the gunman. Well, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Like my ears hurt, so that shit was pretty fucking loud. But, you know, well, that's what we do over here. It's like, fucking drive by, throw shit out the window, that motherfucker. And we'll get that motherfucker right there. Y'all can it's foggy out. It's foggy in the desert. Imagine that. What's up with that? Hello. Uh, you're back to see me firing off the uh, M16A2. That's what we do. We do drive-bys. They try to blow us up. We do more drive-bys. And, of course, we come out on top because we're superior force. Fuck these motherfuckers. Eat shit and die, you son of a bitches. I ain't got much to say. Fucking foggy out. Can't see the truck in front of me. That's right. Show us, dude. Show us the Pancho Villa. The Pancho Villa? Yeah, show us the Pancho Villa. Quick. Like, 20 seconds, dude. Pancho Villa. Very good. <laughs> I am the Pancho Villa. <laughs> I had a mustache. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. Two tires off the ground right here too. Two tires in front of. 
That motherfucker ain't nowhere near off the ground. Right here? I'm uh -huh. looking right at it. That yeah. back one ain't, but the outer one is. The outer one ain't nowhere near off the ground. This motherfucker got fuel in it? Yep. Yeah. See, I can say, look, Mom, this is this is who is in charge of me. Come on, Stan, you ain't got that son of a bitch on anything yet. You fucking around, man. Give me three, three more good ones. One more, one more. Y'all keep motherfucking changing the numbers. Five more. Oh, you almost got it. There you go, it's under there. Yeah. All right, give me a goddamn. Look at that, the squad leader out here working. What you need? I need a goddamn. There he goes. Busting down tires. Well, Stanley's 594 said he's a professional. Professional. 594, representing, baby. No cussing. This is going to my mom. You got the squad leader over there cussing. <laughs> From the chaplain, you're like, here, that'll make it all better. Treat you like a little fucking child. Here's a piece of candy, little Tim. Cord, dude, but I ain't got the light on. He knows it. There's the light. <laughs> I'm all fucking bright, dude. <laughs> Where was I going with that? Yeah. New fucks. The new people over here, yeah. I mean, what the fuck, dude? We don't, they're talking about us, we might have to stay in a tent for a little while because they need to move into the building. I know, dude. You see these new fuckers, man? I'm glad, wait, hold up, dude. Hold on. They didn't have to do shit. Hold on. I'm, I was thinking about this. They didn't do shit, right? Nothing. But I'm so glad that they're here to replace me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes and no, I am. In a way, I'm like extremely glad, you know. But then again, like fucking reality tells me, you know what? It's like I have to face the fucking music when I go home, dude. Hold up. You know? I got something to say about it. What? Let's talk to the camera. All right, this is the thing, dude. I'm sure they've been watching TV and shit, right? Yeah. So like they know people are dying up in America. Dude from engineers just fucking died. That hit with fucking ID. All right. Like, they're coming over here, like, thinking it's a war. Like, they know it's a fucking war. I don't think they know exactly, like, the full extent of it yet. Like, if they got in some shit like we fucking got into, like, this early in the game, them just fucking getting here, they'd flip out, dude. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, when one of their soldiers dies, say, like, these new people that are coming in, it's gonna happen. From one of these companies, someone's gonna die, like, shortly after they get here, because of how bad shit is. And... They're gonna fucking flip, dude. They just spent a year and a half here. It's, dude, it's gonna sink in quick. But they didn't, like, get all the fucking... Like, yeah, they didn't go through the hardships. Fucking digging a hole to take a shit. All that shit was like... That light's fucking bright, dude. Yeah, it is. Put you on the spot. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Sure it does. But, like... The hardships. The hardships, dude. The hardships ain't nothing for me. You know, I'm just, like, mixing my mind. The, the hard, more harder it is, more the less shit you have, it's like less you gotta deal with. You know, I mean. That's right, cause you know what? I was completely happy sleeping on my fucking truck when I first got here. I didn't care. I had to go dig a hole to go take a shit, but you know what? I didn't have to burn no shit. And your battle buddy was motherfucking behind you, facing the other way with his weapon. Yeah, got to pull guard on. Me. Like we first got up here, dude. This fucking place, man. There was like. Oh, it's like all gravel around shit. And like it was like all sand before. Dude, it was like all like fucking grass and tumbleweeds and shit. You know? But <laughs> now it's like all fucking like crushed rock and shit. Down the building, it used to be all like grass and stuff, dude. You like walk out of the fucking maintenance area and it's like fucking jungle land, dude. It was like fucking like big ass fucking grass like this fucking tall and shit. All kind of shit out there. Yeah. I have memories. First came in, dude, there wasn't shit. Like, we didn't come up on the fucking hardball that everyone goes through at Navstar. Uh-huh. We came up, like, through the fucking dirt, dude. <laughs> and, like, so many vehicles had rolled through there, because, like, you saw it. It was, like, a fucking 16-mile fucking convoy. Yeah. So many vehicles had already rolled through there. Third ID, or fourth ID had already rolled in with there with fucking tracked vehicles. So all you could do was, like, get in the rut and fucking ride it, dude. 
What are you doing? Fucking like goofing with the camera, dude. All right, guys. So all you can do. You know, how people are seeing it, right? The people gotta watch this, and they're like, you know, they're like, I know they hear it. They have to hear that annoying ass motherfucking generator that runs like everywhere you go. There's always a generator. Fucking brr. You hear it? Yeah. Yeah, here, I want to talk about the fucking generators for a minute, dude. Hold on. Dude, I was in the middle. I was going to talk about this lady that came outside and started dancing because we gave her water. Anyway, go on. Yeah, those are already fucked up. I hope they fucking die of thirst. Only like, this is dirty cup for them. Fucking shivering over here. I don't know. But you hear that fucking generator, dude? That's all I hear. And I like went home, dude. No generator. No. It was weird, man. You like just turned on the lights, huh? Didn't yeah. have to crank nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> If you wanted, like, total absolute silence, you had to wait until Caden went to bed. But you could have total absolute silence and hear nothing. That was, like, weird, dude, because that's, like, something I've, like, never heard in a long, long time. Really? Yeah. I, like, notice weird shit, dude. I, like, scratch and dig it in my fucking nuts on camera. Check that out. <laughs> yeah, with my fucking... This is my government issue of fucking DCU pants. Look at me. I'm, like, fucking... Oh, dude. I got a dirty knee. They don't know about that. There you go. I gotta tell everybody back home about the Armands. Cause I know they ain't seen no Armands. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna start selling these bitches when I get back home. Like set up shop, my fucking, my walk-in closet. Armands, buddy. Check that out. Not a sweatshirt. You like thought I had a sweatshirt under here, but it's not. See? Not. Wait, hold on. Let me see that fucking, let me see the wrist there. Hold on. This wrist. Large. 12 to 13. That's right. Ooh. That's an army sock. Army sock. <laughs> sure is. But anyway, you know, I like come up with the idea a long time ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be here a while. It's getting let's, cold. let's check out the army attire. These are the fucking boots. Yep, yeah, we got the boots. Let's see your boots. We got the, we got, well, you got to have the fucking handy dandy fucking tag. In case you like fucking like dismemberment and shit, and they're like, well, whose leg is that? I don't know. These are my boots. These are my new ones. These are my dress up boots. Dress up boots. Yep, yeah, these dress are the boots I wore boots. home. All right, these are the pants. White socks, yep. You gotta have them, the black socks. They're only good for Armands. Yep, and these are the pants. The pants. pants, yes. These are my pants. Right here, well, they're on me. We got the, we got the, the large cargo pockets, and I found the best purpose for cargo pockets is holding onto a soda that you steal from the child hall. That's right. And a mobile trash bag. That's right, trash bag. So. Then you got the army belt. Yeah, sure do. That's the belt. That's the belt. He has the garrison belt. I got this. Well, you're not gonna be able to see it. You got the cargo belt. I got this the is cargo like, belt. This is the fucking cheapy model here. And then you have the you got brown the handy dandy brown t-shirt. T-shirt. You gotta have the brown t-shirt. Yep. Gotta have them. Can't wear nothing else but you know. And then the Armands. That's a new addition. The Armands. But the Armands know. are coming into play. You got like um, Tommy Hilfiger shit. You got the DCU top. The top. See, he doesn't have the top. That's right. But you know what? My top has that uh, his doesn't. Oh, drop my soda. I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay. Got some. Hold on. Oh yeah, I got them too. <laughs> Someone just got taken. You know what my top has that he doesn't have? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> and and newly demoted to private. That's right. It's not permanent because it's pin on. When pin the on. army fucks you, they fuck you. That's right. See the okay for gig. But oh, uh, you know, other fucking. Wait, he has another issue. This is the. Uh, this is a field jacket liner, but since I don't have a field jacket, that's right. It's my DCU top liner, which and this being he's totally out of regs. That's right, but it's a black cap, so because it's the West Coast chopper. Right, All right. I'm gonna have me a bike like that someday. And then you got your Kevlar. That's right. Hard as a fucking rock, right there. Yep. And it's been here a while. Notice the fucking. There's holes. Look, hold on, hold on. We got the boo boo. The ouch. The ouch. Yeah. Look and at the that's... stain. That's a nice stain. Yeah. Beautiful. This is my Kevlar. I drew a, a nipple. Yeah. On the Kevlar there. Then but you got your weapon. Got the blood type. Even got my name on it. So they like, knows who head that is. Well, you gotta have a Walkman because walk it gets really fucking boring out there. All right, what else do you? Got the people are always on my mind, you know. On my mind. You get it? On my mind. <laughs> I need a drink, dude. This presentation is brought to you by Coca Cola. Pull tops, buddy. Old Vietnam style. Pull tops. Not the. Pull top. Pull top. Pull tops. That's right.
Yeah, English. Well, that's like, you know, only ones that want to learn the only Coca -Cola. language. Coca Cola. Then you're like, do 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 do. Then you got gibberish. <laughs> and we drink it. And it's like, it's like like a, it's like a little kid sat down with a fucking, a marker. You know, just there we go. Habib asked him, "What's that?" He's like, "Coca Cola." Right on. That's how they come up with that shit. A two-year-old, a permanent fucking Sharpie marker, and like, just take your eyes off him for a good 20 minutes. Let him go in his room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll come up with all kinds. You have kinds. the Muslim language. You'll have like, you'll have a whole Muslim alphabet. Right? It's all <laughs> like one spot. All 700 letters to be all right there. But I forgot. This is what makes my Kevlar complete. Check this out. What do you got? I said I had a little bit of an anger problem when I got over here. You know, go figure, I'm in Iraq. Who the fuck wouldn't have an anger problem? So I had to go, and I had to go talk to somebody. Yeah. I had to talk to Dave B. Francis. Fourth ID, fucking hell. Got an anger problem. So I like fucking flip out on the wrong dude or something, get my ass whooped, and I'm laid out cold. Well, they'll know why, because that'll be like in my cup. Did the uh, army tell you to do that? No, no, I just Did told myself. It's like the Armands, it just came to me. We're gonna be here for Christmas. Think about that. Hate that. It's just special. Huh? My turn to minute, dude. I was just getting rolling, buddy. Oh, dude, you were stalling. Was that really? You're stalling, dude. Alright. Alright. Next thing we're gonna talk about the garrison factory. We need some, we need some theatrics here. Hold on. There's a helicopter coming. There's a helicopter. Where's the helicopter? Chopper coming in, buddy. <laughs> I think you went this way, dude. All right, stop. all right. Carry on with your fucking your, your your way of like putting it all down. All right, the garrison fucking back. Look, I am in goddamn Iraq. Fucking dust ball, my fucking dirt everywhere you go. My fucking Iraq. All right. It's not even good dirt, dude. Look, man. I put my clothes in a bag and like some fucking hodge washes and sends them back. Fucking. It's like really hard to get showers around here. The fucking water ran out tonight, right? Okay. Whew, I'm breathing heavy, dude. Maybe the coke and these right. people want a bitch because like my pants aren't tucked in right. Or my belt is like a little fucking loose. You know, I got stains in my pants and sure shit. Do. You know, I look like shit, okay? They want a bitch because my chin strap hangs. I'm fucking down here and shit. Why, dude? We're at fucking war, man. People are goddamn dying. You should be worried about, like, keeping your fucking people alive, not worried about fucking how nice my uniform is. What kind of soldier are you doing? Right? Yeah, dude, but it's like this. Doing my goddamn job. Then then they want to do CTT. They want to fucking start trying to train us on chemical, nuclear, biological fucking warfare. I said nuclear. Anyway, they want to fucking take us to ranges and shit. Not even for 10 goddamn months, dude. You train in the rear so you can come out here and motherfucking react. Like, all they're doing now is, like, building stress. They're, like, just doing shit to fucking... We're, like, here to, like, fucking do time. We're not here to do the job no more, dude. We're here to do time. I mean, oh, dude. like, we first got here, man, we just made shit happen. Well, whatever it costs, you know? Like, fucking That's shit broke mind. down? Fuck it, leave it. Not our problem. Who's that poor? Getting all our equipment and shit? It's like, dude, there's a fucking Ugh. truck right there with air conditioning. We're going to Iraq. It's in the Middle East. It's going to get hot as fuck. And that dude right there that runs the port told me, he's like, you know what? Anything out here you all need, just take it. I need to get it the fuck out of my yard. Dude, could have had it. Air conditioning. Oh, yeah. like, stupid. I've been doing that all fucking day. There's the Iraqi moon. Dude, I wonder if I can get the city out there. I wonder if they can see the city. Yeah, they can. They just fucking street. No, dude, that's the city out there. Dude, it's a God. city out there, dude. It's it's not even. Don't say city because like people back home will think of like you know, fucking beautiful Cleveland or or like fucking nifty New York. It takes a minute to focus. This out here, only way to describe that is like, fucking yeah. it's like fucking please give to the needy children. Where's your fucking lighter? Oh, my pocket, probably. They don't even like over there. They're like, oh, there's a lawyer. And that's it. It's just like today, dude. Like what we did today? <laughs> Fucking Iraqi junk, dude. Yeah, junk. But anyway, I was like talking about the city. Right? The only way, it's not even a city. The only way to describe that fucking place out there is like the fucking 
feed the needy children, feed the hungry children, 10 cents a day, you know. Sally Struthers, standing there with some, like starving little kids, you know, like dirt huts and shit, garbage everywhere, shit running down the street. Yeah, that's what's out there. Stinks. Dead motherfucking animals everywhere, dude. Oh, yeah. Dead cows, dead dogs. Fucking dead horses. I saw Just... a donkey, dude. I saw a dead donkey one time. He, yeah. like, still had his little cart hooked to him. He's like laying on the side. He was all like bloated up and shit. Like fucking still hooked up to his car. These motherfuckers. All right. Probably said IED a couple of times. IED is like a graded explosive device. Basically, it's a bomb. Motherfuckers put in the road. These motherfuckers are so sick. Like there's dead dogs and cows and shit just out there on the fucking road. And these motherfuckers are so sick. They're going up and like stuffing these fucking IEDs up inside dead animals and blowing them as we fucking drive by. Alright, when I was up in Missoul, they were fucking, they don't have like butcher shops, man. They'll just fucking slaughter a cow in the fucking street. Just right there, fucking cut its throat, blood drains in the streets. But fucking, you can smell it, it stinks. Kids are off in fucking back alleyways with no shoes. They fucking trash up to their fucking goddamn knees almost. Kicking a fucking flat soccer ball around. July and August, you had fucking flies all over you. Flies. Oh my so, god. Huh? You got something to see there? Flies, dude. Flies. I've never seen so many flies in my whole life. They're everywhere. Where, like, you'd be outside, you like, open up an MRE and shit, and they just fucking swarm you, dude. Mm -hmm. like, land on your face. And they wouldn't just, like, like how normal flies, you know, they, like, land, and you, like, screw away, and they fly away. No, this thing is just, like, kind of... And you'd be like, swear, it just moved just a little bit. It just, whatever. Fuck, flies everywhere. It was like, had to go take a shit. If you use that nasty fucking facility bars out there, the fucking plywood box and shit in a fucking barrel. Flies be dancing on your ass. Then they be like dancing on your face. Flies are everywhere. That's my coat, dude. That's my coat. It's mine. That's his. Whatever the fuck that gribbles. English. Five. Dude, at night, like mosquitoes. All right. I think they were mosquitoes. I got something disgusting to say. Let the people know how it is out. We need to know. All right. I just got to the soul. Just pulled up in the soul, right? It was like my first fucking night there. Everyone had fucking dysentery. So we're all like shitting all over the place. All right. And there was like fucking Iraqi trucks just like fucked up everywhere. And we were like, going to stay at this fucking building. And then take a fucking crap. So I like went over. And there was this Iraqi truck. And it's got like a footstep. And I was like, all right, I can prop my ass up on that motherfucker. And they had my little flashlight, dude. And I walked up there. For the next 16 seconds, I was going to record it because whatever's talking about was kind of sick, kind of nasty. So I decided to cut it out of the video. That's so gross, dude. <laughs> dude, cut me off, dude. You're done. I want them motherfuckers to know, dude, how sick it is out here. You're done. <laughs> I tell you what, dude. Being out here. I've seen things that I thought I'd never ever seen in my life. Tell them about the guts. Things that... Tell them about the guts. All right, the guts. <laughs> and when we first got up here, it was like, everything was just, they just unasked. They just left everything they had. Their personal possessions, everything. Just They just took themselves. It was like fucking uniforms spread out everywhere. They just like fucking... Choo, fucking out the of here, buddy. The guts, you know? So we went exploring, and it was like a fucking... Like a, a housing, it's like little houses, like a housing complex on this little, on this fucking base we're on. You gotta get my soda. Dude, he was like going in there, like ransacking, fucking like looking to loot and pillage, you know? <laughs> we were in there kicking down doors and shit. And like, you never know, there might be somebody in the building. So you're always on, you're, you're on your own fucking guard, you know? You go in a building, you go in quick. Come on, guy. What are you telling a novel? Huh? I have to break it down so they know. All right, come, come on. Man. But man, I came inside this one house and I like, stepped on something like really slippery and I almost like fell down. I like scooted ahead like a foot. I looked back and it was like this fucking like clear plastic with like a bunch of blood all on it and shit. And I like, moved it out of the way. Dude, it was like a fucking pile of intestines just laying on the floor. And they were like all like busted up and shit. It was like Looked like fucking oatmeal, dude, inside of it. And it was like stinking so bad. Holy shit, there's a pile of guts. I told my buddy, help. I'm like, dude, come look at this. Did you come in there? And like, like I said, the smell, dude, the smell was just, oh, it's fucked up. But he like saw it and he didn't like realize what it was at first. 
Yeah. And like, he had a small head on. He got the gags, buddy. <laughs> oh. Like, just think, just think, like, the people who did this, you know? Like, why this guy's guts is on the floor. Fuck, dude. You know? This ain't normal. <laughs> This is not right. This is not fucking right at all. Tell him about fucking Webster. Webster, man, the button, the bad ambush. Not the ambush, just the bad one. <laughs> bad one. Man, we're fucking two platoons. Fucking road comes together. And like, platoon I was with, we was heading this way. And there's like a little turn right there in the middle of these roads. You have to like jump on a different road. And we was going back to Camp Spiker. And first platoon, right going here. down. The fucking Webster, where I was just coming from. They got hit with a first to start off with an IED. They came with an IED. Fucking hit a Heron's, Heron's truck and uh, Sergeant McKenzie's truck. And it was like fucking taking RPGs. Fucking Enel's truck got hit with an RPG. Never even blew up. It just hit his tanker. Fucking boom. Pounced off. Take a small arms fire and shit. I was and shooting in, cars, dude. And in the meantime, so shit. In the meantime, our platoon's rolling up. Now we're like, Right, pretty much parallel. We're just like, there might be like 400 meters in between each convoy. Just one's on a different road than the other. We get hit with an IED. Fucking truck behind me. Hit with an IED. And like, there was like fucking vehicles and shit running down on the dirt off on the side of the road. So we just started lighting them up, dude. It was like two dump trucks. Just started spraying them down, wetting them down. Fucking convoy slowed down and shit. And like everything I saw, dude, I was just blasting. Fucking... Car pulls up, drives up real slow. He's like going on the road and he's like, has his hands up, you know. He's like, Urgh. man, I don't know how I did it. I don't know why I did it. I just like started blasting at the ass end of his car and just like worked my way out to his fucking door. It's like in the back window of the car, in the back door window. Then that fucking driver door, dude. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> And he like went over in the seat and it was like cars just got a move on. We were coming up as soon as we came around that corner, man, because we've been hit so many times in that area. The ID went off. I looked at Sergeant Taylor. I was like, somebody's got to fucking get some shit. Got my fucking rifle, dude. <laughs> I was driving and like cars were coming the other way. And I was like, pop, 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 pop. Dude, motherfuckers, dude, were just going off the road. We got up on the bridge. Said the convoys were going like this, but we turned up on the bridge to stop. And y'all were fucking coming by. And when y'all got hit, start shooting all those fuckers up. This van started rolling down the road. It was like the first vehicle that came from that direction that we saw. The Sarn LA motherfucking threw two shots off at it. And I was like, already fucking pissed off hiding behind the guardrail, dude. And I was like, just started unloading into that motherfucker, dude. And their fucking van caught the guardrail. I was like, fucking dude, dude, they, he like sat, dude, he didn't, he was like laid over. He didn't fucking get up like for, dude, it had to been like two minutes. Cause I was like fucking sitting there. I was like, dude, my heart sank. I was like, I'm fucking killed this motherfucker. And like, he ended up sitting up, dude. He's probably like Coca-Cola. Okay. <laughs> Arm out the window, dude. And it was all fucking chopped up. Yeah. But like, see. The... I felt bad. I did. Well, of course, dude. I, don't care. I feel bad about this shit. And the thing is, I don't know. It's like. It's like you like smile about it, and you like kind of get like a giggle out of some of the weird shit about it, but it's not funny. No, it's, it's all right. Not, it's it not. Is. It's not fucking funny, dude. But it's kind of like when somebody's like it's... fucking like screaming at you and shit, and they're like, "What the fuck? Why you got a stupid grin on your face?" You know, I guess that's just your way of dealing with it. That's what it is. That's what you I know? say. It's a way to fucking deal with this crap. Yeah, you know, I hate this shit. I hate everything about this shit. And fuck, man, this this ain't what I want. This is not. No. And there's like so much fucking shit that happened just in that ambush. Like, yeah, we, I mean, Altov and the fucking. My fucking TC tells me there's like, there's people in the fucking ditch. Light them up. And I like have a saw. I like drew a bead on like three silhouettes in the fucking ditch. And just before I squeezed off, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Those are fucking Kevlars. Camera working and shit. <laughs> working the camera. That's right. Don't sit down, dude. I can't hold my hand that high. So, what's up, man? Just got back off leave, man. Yes, I sure did. So, you said shit in the States has changed? You mean, like, fuck. Dude, shit back there is, like, so fucking different now. It's like, everything's fucking different, man. Like, shit that was new, it's old now. It's like, shit you never even fucking heard of. How shit long? you never even seen. How long do you have on right now? Nine months? Fucking nine months. Yeah, this shit's changed a lot, man. Hell yeah, it has, dude. Caden's like, 
big. He like talks in full sentences, man. It blows my mind. He used to be cool when he say like a couple words. Now it's like he just be talking, tell you about everything. When I left, he was still like still in diapers and shit. You know, right, welcome back to the shit home. Yeah, I was just starting to get my mind right back to be like in the states and shit. Two weeks is just too short, man. Cause like coming back from like being the gone that long, and fucking since everything's like fucking changed, dude. It's like you gotta like catch up on everything and then be up to speed on shit. It blew my mind. Everything just blew my fucking mind, dude, when I was back home. Everything. Like, some of my buddies are running across, man. The ones that are over here, like, two of them left. Left here in fucking August. And the other dude left in September. I'm like, shit, dude. They, like, gained, like, 40 pounds a piece. They just be like, that's all they do is just, just straight fucking drinking, buddy. Non-stop since they got back. Get drunk every fucking night. Again? Yeah. Hey, what's been going on? Well, now... All this fucking, I guess we're starting to start redeploying. Not soon, but they always get ready early. So shit's starting to get stupid then. Seat belts. I guess we got a leading example for the new troops coming in. I think there is an IED. There was an IED where the second got shot at today. Today? Yeah. Nice. Um, Tampa's bad, dude. There's a bunch of big fucking bolts in that fucking road, dude. It's starting to get all this health and welfare shit. We're not allowed to fucking bring home the goddamn bayonets that we found. Fucking bongs gotta go. Buy the numbers, fucking PMTSs. Yeah. Ain't that some shit? My big ass fucking bong. I can't even bring it home. Not even for a fucking souvenir. What the fuck? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. I had to put my bong in the fucking amnesty box. Been fucking raining. It's been so fucking foggy in the morning, dude. You can't even motherfucking. You gotta drive like 30 goddamn miles an hour. You can't see fucking 25 feet in front of you. I don't know what to say, dude. Got a minute. You got a minute left. I'll wrap it yes. up. All right. All right. Wait, hold on, dude. Hold on. I got to put something on there. I got the Arabic Lipton brought, iced tea. This <laughs> session has been brought to you by Lipton iced tea. <laughs> That's our sponsor, buddy. That's right. But, yeah, I wish we're wrapping up, you know. It's fucking December. You know, I wish we was all home. Fuck. But we're not. We're here. Was home for Thanksgiving. A lot of drama, though, you know, trying to make that adjustment back to living the real life. Get the fuck out of here. We're out of here for good, forever. Never coming back here ever again. Never leaving the States. Never will I ever shit in a goddamn porta pot. And that's what I'm gonna leave. What? This is what we do in the army. Oh, yeah. You're doing a documentary. Oh, I know that much. Smoking the marijuana. Okay. Light that sucker up. Back a little tight, dude. I know. I'll have to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, it's not hitting good. That's pretty good that time, didn't it? Yes. That looks pretty cool, dude. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. I want to see this. I want to see the. I want to see it. Yep. Look, Bud in the barracks. It's the Bud Ball. That's right. I'm watching Heavy Metal in the barracks. That's right. Oh. Check her out, buddy. This is my room. Check it out. That's for my rack. Oh. Yow. Yeah. A picture. Blow. You're not getting big hits. Hi, 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 hi. Look at this. Hi, 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 hi. What's up? Stone in the barracks. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what I'm talking about, bro. High five. Yeah. Now for the doctor. Still some left there? It's cash, dude. Uh, yeah. Buddy over here, you gotta let everybody know just what he really thinks of him. <laughs>